Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So I am filming this right after I filmed Cleo's unboxing because I just have to unbox everybody all together. We're unboxing and reviewing Monster High G3 Frankie Stein. So basically I went to Target with my sister and then there was Cleo and there was Frankie and this was the only Frankie. So I felt like this Frankie doll was meant for me. Frankie was fifth in my overall ranking. So it was the lower end, but very mid. There's a lot of things I like about Frankie's concept and things like that, but there's just some stuff kind of like Cleo that I was like, eh, not really a fan of, you know, I kind of have to make the doll my own, which is what I'm going to be doing. This is Frankie Stein. So Frankie G1 was like always one of my favorites. My initial introduction to Monster High was because of Frankie Stein. So then as I got into the franchise a little bit more, my love for Dracula came into the picture and it never left and it still hasn't because I carry G3 Dracula with me everywhere. So anyway, Frankie's whole in the beginning in G1, the schoolgirl aesthetic was totally there. And that's something I really loved. I love the like plaid skirts and stuff like that. So that was very Frankie Stein. Here in G3, this doll also has the quote unquote schoolgirl aesthetic as well. So I'm very excited. There's, like I said, there's some parts about this doll that I like, some parts about this doll that I dislike. I do wanna say really quickly, something I really am a big fan of is the prosthetic leg because it is bringing awareness to disabilities. And I have not seen a, like doll lines do this. There's a lot more diversity happening in doll lines now, which I absolutely love because if you did not know, I am legally blind. So that leads me into, if I say something and describe it a little bit, different or if there is a small defect on the doll or whatnot and I don't see it, it obviously doesn't bother me. So it shouldn't bother you because this is my doll. So I'm excited. Let's take a look at Frankie's box and then we will unbox our new friend because as you can see, um, they're waiting. So this is Frankie. This was the only Frankie at the store. So I, like I said, I genuinely felt like this doll was put there for me to buy. I checked. There were a ton of Lagunas, four Cleos. This was the only Frankie. So we've got the eye coffin, the outfit, which we will be looking at in full detail a little bit later. Frankie Stein, which we've got my little vampire, Frankie and Laguna. And then, you know, the attention, no warning, no choking hazard. So this is Watsy. It used to be um, What's It, but it has been changed to Watsy. And I think it's a little dog. I don't know. I mean, like literally what is it, you know? So this is all of the accessories Frankie comes with. So it's so funny because um, I unboxed Cleo and she came with a jacket and now I'm unboxing Frankie and Frankie's coming with a jacket. So, you know, that's fun. And there's the Screetza in the shape of a lightning bolt. So that's kind of cool. So Frankie, this says um, Monster High with the skull at like everybody else's boxes. Monster High again. On this side of the box, we have artwork that is pertaining to Frankie Stein. It just like everyone else's. Very cool. Super awesome. I think my favorite artwork was either Cleo's or Dracula's so far. So here is Frankie's box art. Very cute. Frankie looks like so incredibly happy. Wait, are those shoes different? Please hold. Oh, I feel like they're just like a bit darker. Like they look more hot pinkish here. But anyway, um, here are the ghouls. Um, two of which I have now and two of which I do not have quite yet. All right, so it says monster type, voltageous Frank and monster, monster must haves, eye coffin and screech. So that's so hard to say. And monster pet Watsy with literally the trademark. Now I'm confused. Did all of them have the trademarks? I wasn't really paying attention, but anyway. I'm gonna cut and we're gonna we're gonna free our friend because we Frankie needs to join the rest of them because it's just necessary so let's do it as usual we are going to take a look at all of Frankie's accessories before we take a look at the actual doll so here is the eye coffin and sorry my hair is getting in the way but here's the eye coffin it is blue because that is mainly Frankie's color scheme and it does have a heart on the back and this just literally makes me think of the movie um if you know you know but I don't want to issue any spoilers and so then we have the Screetza in the shape of a lightning bolt because that is still Frankie Stein's theme. So then we've got these blue glasses, very nice. Oh, like the literal, like they're lightning bolts. I mean, that's cool. Um, 
so then okay like i'm literally dying this is a cat dog thing with wings like i in the shape of lightning bolts i don't know what you are you look like a dog and then your tail screams cat to me so you're freaking cute i still think either account fabulous or tut wins my favorite pet no sir who's a lot cute oh my god i can't with these pets i'm an animal lover so you guys already know so frankie also comes with two polaroids so if my camera will focus on these um, I don't know if it will. Okay, so see, you can see the main ghouls there. It's Frankie, Claudine, and Draculaura. That is very cute. I feel like that's why one of the um, must-haves is the eye coffin, because then you could take all these pictures with your ghoul friends. Or friends. Okay, so this looks like it is Cleo and Claudine. Um, but that is really all i can tell especially with my vision those were super tiny the only reason i can see them is because i put them up to the camera and had it zoomed in so then frankie's last accessory is this jacket which i think is actually very very nicely made so for me personally i'm not a fan of like i don't know like when things are split like this it drives me crazy so uh, my ocd is like screaming right now but um it says mh in pink and then we've got lightning bolts over here it is blue white um black and pink or this might be no i think it's yeah it's black it kind of looks a little bit of a charcoal gray but it's black and then we have the skelet in pink on the back here this is very cute i do like this a lot honestly i think it might be like the best quality jacket i don't know though um, Cleo's, I haven't tried Cleo's on. I probably should have in her video, but I forgot. There's just too many things happening and it's just way too exciting right now. You guys, I need to find them a place to go. Look at Cleo. Why does she look so weird sitting like that? <laughs> they need to stand up somewhere. Uh, probably a doll room revamp of this side is coming eventually. But anyway, enough about that. We're going to get Frankie out of the box. Actually, we're not. I lied. In all of the excitement, I forgot the lightning bolt shaped backpack with a skull on it. This thing is very interesting and it has like this little um, keychain. I think that's supposed to be a keychain. I don't know. This is super tiny, but you can also see through it unlike anybody else's backpack. I feel like Cleo has the smallest backpack out of the ones I have so far. But anyway, that's all of the accessories. Now we're getting Frankie out of the box. Okay, so because of how ridiculously tall Frankie is, this is going to be exciting because now I have like a ton of different heights and body types to compare. I needed to... Frankie is on a rainbow high stand, but backwards. Now, I have no problems with Draculaura and Gulia standing on their own, but Cleo and Frankie are just giving me quite the struggle today, but it's fine. So, first of all, I was not expecting to be blown away and like, oh my god. I love this piece of plastic, you know, like when you take them out, you're just literally like, wow, like th th literally they're pieces of plastic. How do they look this good? I will say Dracula still like took my breath away. Um, Cleo and Frankie both definitely had like a wow, aha moment. Gulia, I feel like Gulia didn't get a fair chance because I opened her right after freaking Draculaura and I just... I don't know, but I still love her nonetheless. Anyway, this is about Frankie Stein. So this doll obviously has the new tall body type, which we will look at at the end. And I'm excited to see how Draculaura looks next to Frankie because I'm very like curious to see how teeny tiny she looks because that's my favorite thing about her. So Frankie, I'm going to bring up close. Um, we're just going to leave the stand there. So as you can see, there are these two barrettes here. One is blue, one is pink. Let's, can you do this, my friend? Um, okay, so they are in the shape of lightning bolts. Again, that is Frankie's little motif. So the hair is basically blonde and black. It's with like a hint of blue in there it's more of a like whitish blonde but you know it looks yeah um the earrings are yellow lightning bolts which i'm kind of confused because their color scheme really isn't there's no yellow my issue with frankie's face is the lip color like it would have been awesome if this doll had black lips because this color this like peachy lip color is just it's not doing it for me at all but anyway let's move on to the outfit so again the quote unquote schoolgirl aesthetic is very much in play here with the collared vest is it yeah the collared vest then we've got the shirt underneath and then of course the plaid skirt the belt like cleo's belt 
it's plastic and that bothers me because this would have been so cool. I mean, there's chains, okay? So I feel like Frankie and chains makes a lot of sense. So like that's definitely a part of Frankie, I feel, but it's plastic. So that is probably the one complete. Besides the lips, I feel like the plastic belt bothers me. Oh, another thing is the weird colored earrings. But then we go down and we see there is more stitching along the legs and we get to the prosthetic leg and it looks like Frankie, yeah, because you have to flip it upside down to see that it actually, to see that it actually says Frankie. I think it would have been cool if like the rest of the gang would have signed it. Like that just would have been so awesome if the whole friend group signed it, but it's fine. I appreciate that it has detail and then what is the okay so then here are the shoes so the shoes are kind of a different story too because then we've got this green color are these earrings green or yellow they might be green i don't know they might i don't know anyway they might be like this lime green because this lightning bolt is lime green with the black laces and then the pink shoes so i'm a bit confused there and then obviously you can see the bottoms are white with lightning bolts on them so I'm a bit confused by Frankie's color scheme. I feel like black shoes would have been a lot, like it would have made a lot more sense. But overall, definitely a lot of pros over the cons. Otherwise I wouldn't, if I didn't like these dolls, I wouldn't buy them. I just, you know, this is me giving you guys my final thoughts and opinions on everything. And I cannot wait to restyle this doll. It's gonna be fun. I can't wait to see what kind of clothes fit Frankie because of the super tall body type. Okay, so I have Gulia here and she looks so little compared to Frankie. So now I'm excited because Draculaura looked so little compared to Gulia. But yes, as you can see, Frankie is like much, much taller than Gulia. Cleo was a bit taller than Gulia, but as you can see, Frankie is a little bit taller than she is as well. These two will forever be um, bought buddies because I bought them together as well Draculaura and Gulia, so that's kind of exciting and now for the moment you all and by you all I mean me have been waiting for I haven't seen anybody do this yet or maybe someone did and I just forgot but I'm I'm literally so excited to see the shortest and the tallest doll because like this is gonna be fun hold on sorry I had to fix Draculaura's hair because she's like such a diva and requires a lot of maintenance anyway oh my god look at how cute i love it i love it so much oh my god frankie thank you for coming to the collection just to make dracula even smaller so i am very very happy with this purchase again like i said in the beginning i was are you gonna stand no okay i was on the fence with frankie and you know cleo and Frankie were the ones I was really on the fence about getting, and coincidentally, I got them together. I'm very glad I did. I think they're really cool. Let me know your thoughts on Frankie down below. Do you have Frankie? Do you want Frankie? You know, like, what, what are your thoughts on G3 Frankie? And if you have not already, give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button to join the fam, and have that really cool notification bell so you know the exact moment I post a new video. Have a blessed day, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye, everybody.